up? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. Stoked to show you something uh, really cool uh, that will help you develop some speed with that pentatonic scale. Uh, I'm The particular thing I'm using right now is the extension, the pentatonic extended scale. I'm in the D minor pentatonic scale. So I'm going to do is show you this little device and then I'm going to play just a little jam track at the end so you can practice along with it, okay? So what I'm doing, actually, I'm going to zoom in real quick and show you that extension. I've talked about it a lot. It's all over my site. It's all over my DVDs. Uh, but I'm going to give you just a more perspective. Here we go. All right, so we have the normal D note right there. That's our root. And I'll turn down so you can hear my speaking here. Um, we've got the 10th fret right here. Standard issue, right? And then we use the extension, so the root's there, we go a whole step lower, even though the root's still there, and we now we can we have a note lower. And so we go, we only use our first and ring finger for this whole run. Slide with the ring up a whole step. Slide again. Now this is weird, we got to go, our ring finger is on the 14th fret of the G, index though has to do a weird thing and go to the 13th of the B. So, but it's ring and first finger, so it's a little unnatural at first. Trust me though, you want to do it that way. So we've got, let's see here, E string is 8, 10. A string, 8, 10, slide up to 12, index on 10 to, 10 to 12 on the D, 10 to 12 on the G, 12 to 14 slide with the ring, 13 with the index, 15 with the ring, and then 13, 15 on the high E. And when you get there, you can bend it up a whole step. Same thing on the way down. Still slide with your ring when you're practicing it though, your ring finger. But check this out, here's what I'm doing, I'll get my right hand in there. Just watch my right hand this time. Not working that hard. Let's see if I can speed it up a little bit. I'm actually going to give myself a little more gain here. But that's not... That's my right hand. I'm not going that crazy, right? So check it out. Here's what we do. Hammer on this one. Then we're going to hammer on the next one and slide. So we're getting three notes with one pick. See that? It's not, you still want to hear that note, then slide. So it's, and we're going to do the same thing. Same thing again. So actually now we're going from 15 to 17 and you could either go, there's a lot of options. You could go, which doesn't really sound resolved but it's a cool lick. Right there. Or you could go, which feels more resolved to the 13 on the high E. Check it out. Opposite here with pull offs. See that? 
same amount of picking. But always resolve it to the root there if you're practicing it. Then the cool thing too is that if you can internalize that, then get lost along the way with some licks. You don't have to just go um, you can do and it's guitar language. Okay, so Okay. Here they are again. The way up. Sorry. Here it is again on the way up. The way down. So I'm just going to play a little blues backdrop for you in D and try some of that stuff out. Okay, here we go. Try some of that stuff out. If you want to get deeper into this stuff, guitarjams.com, as well as my blues DVDs, cover this in great depth. So anyway, thanks for the support. We'll see you in the next lesson.